one, it's Hefty Desky. Let me first start by talking about outfits. I'm wearing uh, my costume from Title of Show, which I took, so take a gander. Um, you may think it's not that dressed up, but nothing possibly tops Sierra Boggess' inappropriateness. Take a look at, walks in. Now, where is that from? Um, I, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> this is your shirt. I mean, well, it's, I'm sure it's something important. Is this still, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm just saving it for later, or. Was I not supposed to wear a stain for... Anywho, so <laughs> Sierra's a down to earth. Sierra's very like a hippie girl. What's, what's your sister's name again? Summer and Allegra. Okay, literally. So you know, you know where she's coming from. She doesn't care about clothes. Okay, so let's talk about Sierra's amazing career. Not the gate. Sierra's amazing career. Um, first big gig was... Yes. Les Mis. Now, you were very excited because you, of course, you assumed you'd have an amazing role like Factory Girl or something to that effect. Well, yeah, but even better, the hair hag. That, you know, that's, that was my life dream. Or lock it prone. Those are the two, you know, hair hag is, what, what pretty hair lock it what prone is, I'm here, my dear. <laughs> but unfortunately, Sierra was neither. Sierra had one solo in the whole show, and it wasn't even a full line. Will you please demonstrate your amazing solo, Sierra? And in a bed. Okay. <laughs> Literally, and in a bed. <laughs> and in a bed. Um, well, wait. Yes. Oh, I, do you have a turning solo? I did. Okay, what was your turn? But again, solo? I had the shortest turning solo that you could possibly have. Ooh. Everyone else had like, they were schoolboys, never had a gun, da 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 da. And I had, nothing ever will. I'm gonna bed. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Sierra, I remember I interviewed you years ago. You told me about a devastating train ride, but I can't even remember what it was. You were doing Les Mis where in Washington? Yeah, I was in Washington, D.C., doing Les Mis. And then I got a call to come in and, and audition for Phantom in Vegas. So I took the train, I was all excited and sure. To New York. To New York. Thought I was gonna be back in time for Les Mis. Fine, I'll- well, Are you not allowed to leave or something town? You shouldn't, show? yeah, you shouldn't leave when you have a show and you know, do it on your day off or whatever. So I, I left and I, I went to do this audition and I was gonna get back in plenty of time but then the train ended up being stalled for about two, three hours because someone had killed themselves on the track. Okay, have you seen Hairspray, where Tracy goes, stupid bus crash, literally that's the sympathy <laughs> level. Someone had killed themselves, I was late for my half hour call. Yeah. So, wh how well, much up, go? Well, because I was a nice kid, and they liked me and stuff, I mean, I did get written up, so. To equity? To equity, so I'm in trouble. But I got back, because Les Mis is so long, I got back in time for the second half of the show. <laughs> so, that's the fun part but I know. missed my solo. Because And in a Bed is at the beginning. Did it, did it, did it ruin the show? It, it, well. You tell me. It's not running anymore. It, I know. It, the tour closed. Enough said. <laughs> okay, so she did Les Mis, then you got Phantom in Vegas, amazing, high C. Christine. Then she got Christine, Love Never, no, Love, yeah. Love Never Dies. No, then I got Little Mermaid. She does have legs. That was a, that was a fake out. Um, so talk With a five inch heel. Still got it. Little Mermaid Ariel, then Love Never Dies in London. Now, apparently it did die because I noticed it's not on Broadway right now. What happened to that? Uh, so many things. Okay. But it's a beautiful show. It should be on Broadway. When did they, when did they drop the bomb that you're not going to Broadway? Or they still not they told did, you? No, no, still it's, I mean, still it's not saying it's never coming. I mean, I, I, let's, I left before the show closed in London, so. So it really could still come? It could. Anything is possible in the world of Broadway, Seth. Okay, it's not really answering my question. Okay, and currently starring in... <laughs> Politically correct. <laughs> currently starring in Masterclass, where Tyne Daly reads her, and Sierra has her signature running off the stage crying. P.S. do you love running off the stage crying? I, yes. Yeah, but first I get to yell at her and tell her, how could you possibly be so rude to me, and then leave. So that's kind of nice. It's delicious. Yeah. Have you ever had a horrible audition where someone's been mean to you? We've wanted to yell at them. Um, no, not audition where I've wanted to yell, but I've had some teachers that it's like it's so obvious that they wish they were doing what what the kids are gonna do, and mm -hmm. so therefore they're terrible teachers. Here's a song for you. Chorus line. Every day for a week. Anywho. <laughs> The point is, I thought it would be fun for Sierra and I to do a full medley of her career. So we're gonna try to do some Little Mermaid, some Love Never Dies, some Christine Dying Phantom of the Opera, um, her signature masterclass 
and um, Les Mis. Uh, this is, see here's the thing, when you audition for a show and you only have 16 bars, a lot it's, of times people don't have time to read your resume, so right. why not have your resume in your 16 bars? You're, you are so smart. I'm a vocal coach. So this is going to be my new audition song. So let's, let's <laughs> go for it. Up where they walk, everyone tries. Up where they say that love never dies. Wandering free, wish I could be. Never wear a stain like that before midnight. <laughs> she needs a look. And in her bed. <laughs> 